Good morning, stamping friends. Welcome to my YouTube live. And my name is Lori Heiling, for those of you who may not know me. And I come to you from Cave Creek, Arizona. And I do my YouTube lives on Tuesday mornings at 9 o'clock Arizona time. I always have to add Arizona time because we do not observe daylight savings time. I thought when we moved here that would be easy for me, but I have to remember what time zone everyone else is in. So I just say 9 o'clock a.m. Arizona time. Well, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, we are winding down with our company here from Minnesota. They've been here for a month. Now they don't stay with us, but they stay in Peoria. So we get to see our friends quite often this month when they come to visit. This is their fourth year doing that. So in between, I'm still kind of doing my business and um, visiting with them. And we had my son and his family from Atlanta as well earlier in the month. So we had double company here, but it's been a really fun month. It's gone by really fast. But the, what I'm gonna share with you today First of all, I want to remind you that um, we are winding down with celebration. And so if you want to get in on the free items and place a $50 order or more, there's even rewards at $100 increments, um, you can use the host code. And then um, if your order is over $150, do not use the host code and you can just reap the benefits for the host rewards. But the other um, option is if your order is maybe in the $100 range, you may want to consider just becoming a hobby hobbyist demo or a, um, I don't know, we call it a um, discount shopper like at Costco. But the two options for this are you can get this glass mat. Now I'm going to hold it up this way. The reason I'm not doing it is you can see this glare. Right? You get a glare when you do um, videos. And so when I do my videos, I tend to use my mat. But when I'm not doing videos, you can bet that I'm using that glass mat. I love it. I did some blending today with blending brushes and I just didn't even get scrap paper out and I just blended right on the glass. And when I was done, I take that little um, chamois that comes with it and I just wiped it off and I had a clean slate. Okay, so if you would like that glass mat and the only way you can get that is by signing up to be a demonstrator or a discount shopper, um, you get to choose $125 worth of products and you only pay $99 and um, that glass mat is free and you can choose anything even online exclusives and we have a few that are in the pre-order so if you're interested in that you can't see them online yet but I can send a copy of what those look like and you can choose those in your starter kit. The other option is maybe you already have a glass mat or maybe you're not interested in that you can choose to ch uh, choose um, $155 worth of product and still only pay $99. So you get an extra $30 in product. And um, again, I can send you those online exclusives and you can choose anything in the annual catalog or the mini catalog. So those are your options. So I would love to have you join my team. And speaking of team, that's what I'm gonna share with you today. I like to do um, events for my team once in a while. And so February was the month that I chose to use some, um, it was like my busiest month, but I chose to have an event. And so we, we had a local event here in Phoenix and um, we did a shoebox swap, which means everyone that attended, they you know kind of made little kits up for everyone. We actually split the group into two because it would have been too many you know, for everyone to make. So we had 17 people, I did both groups and I'm gonna show you all the projects that we came up with. So that's what I wanna share with you today and we just had so much fun. The first things I'm gonna show though, I'm gonna show you from this view because they're hard to show when it's um, laying down. So when everyone came in, um, they got a little bag. I had all pastel colors and then I made these cute little um, tissue uh, flowers and attach them and so this is what everyone put their um, their swap cards in or their little kits and then as we finish them we just put them in the bag so that was at every place setting and then everyone of course we need water especially in Arizona and this was our logo it's called we stage that's a play on the Stampin' Up! word. Their convention is called on stage so um, my team is called we stamp so I call a lot of my events we and then something just to kind of keep with the theme so it's just we stage and um, a water bottle and then one of my team members made these cute little um, Ghirardelli chocolate whoops there we go I should show this from the other view um, I think I will let me switch the views of the camera around quick and now you can see it better so this is just a cute little box she made the pattern for this and then inside you will find whoops the Ghirardelli um, chocolates in there. Her name is Kimberly Palm 
palm rooter, and um, isn't that adorable? So many of my team members picked a job. I had many tasks, and that's why this was a doable event, because everyone helped. And I'll put some more pictures on my blog, and then you can see even more of the, um, you know, like the poster that was made and things like that. So it was just so much fun. We had a cake that was in the logo um, brought by one of our team members. So right now I will show the cards, but I'll have more pictures of the event on my blog. Okay, so let's start with um, let's start with one of the presenters. That was Becky Costello, and she did a presentation on trusty tools. We all know that stamp set because I've used it a bit here. And she, when she was done with her demonstration, and like I said, the pictures will be on my blog, she gave everyone that attended this cute little box, and look what's in here that goes along with the theme of the trusty tools. First, we have this cute little pen that has measurements on. There's so many times I wish I had a, a measure in or a, something to measure in my purse, like if I'm at a store or something. And then this even has a level on it. Look at that, and it's actually a pen. So I thought that was really unique. So it kind of goes with the, it definitely goes with the trusty tool theme. Then she made a little sucker holder. And if you look at what the sucker is, it is a cute little hammer. So that matches everything here. And then we also got these cute little teeny tiny tape measures. I think they only go up to three feet, but isn't that cute? So. And the saying on here is, oh gosh, I'm going to need my glasses. <laughs> it's fine print, but it says, being creative is not a hobby, it's a way of life. Oh gosh, isn't that true? I'm not sure. Whoops, I've got to learn where my um, camera dial is, but it might be backwards. I don't know. But anyway, that's a little treat she made for us. Isn't that cute? I hope that carries over into the new catalog. The other presenter was Kathy Lucia, and I will show all the pictures, but she um, showed that hot air balloon um, sweet and so there's a lot of she made so many projects and there's really some cute ones there all right so let's get going with the projects um, now I have to remember who made all these they're not all marked but this one was made by Tammy Twitchell and this is really a unique fold um, on the back you can see the score line and at first I thought hmm, what's that score line doing you know it, it goes backwards but the reason is because this flips back and that's how you open the card and so it's just kind of a natural way to keep this closed so you just go like that. Isn't that cute? We had lots of fun folds at our event. Let's see this one. Oh gosh I'm, I knew I was gonna forget these. I'll put the ones I forget and I'll have to look up. This one was made by Angie McCracken and that uses fluffiest friends another fun fold isn't that cute i love it there was actually a cupcake under there and then we cut out the potted plant on another stamp and just fussy cut it and put it on there all right the next one is becky that i already talked about and of course becky um used trusty tools oh gosh it's stuck in my little got stuck in my holder here but this is hers, isn't that cute? Just using the tool set, but in pink color. So you know what, I have a lot of friends <laughs> that are really handy and they know how to fix things. And I, my comment to them all the time is, you would make a great husband, because <laughs> usually the husband's the one that fixes everything. All right, then we have, oh, I have some more I don't remember, I'm gonna have to look up. Um, this one was by Patty Gallagher. I love the colors on this, isn't that pretty? She used um, Misty Moonlight and Night of Navy. And it's just a really pretty summary card. And then there's Wink Estella that you might not be able to see on there. All right, the next one is Donna Kiss. She even decorated our envelope. And then we got a nice little Easter card. I don't, I think most of them, we don't have anything on the inside, but there's lots of layers in that postage die that we have. So that one's cute. They are all cute. Amy Stevens made this one. I love all the layering on this. Isn't that fun? The purple and gray goes really well together. I love that. All right. Then this one was by Heidi Maloney. This is another fun fold. Can you see how that goes? And that's using, um, this paper is an online exclusive. So make sure if you're looking for those, you tap on the category that says online exclusives because these are not in a catalog. And they have those cute little um, bird brass um, embellishment on there. Now this one, this is by Kimberly Palmruder, and she's the one that made that box I just showed you. But look at this fun fold. I've never seen this one. So you open it, and it just has like a little V in the middle, or a W or an M, depending on which way you look at it. But isn't that cute? So the, from the front, this little flap sticks out. So I thought that was really unique. I had not seen that fold before. 
that was cute. Then Kathy Lucia, the gal who did the um, demonstration on the hot air balloons, she made this one. And it's a fun fold that sits, can you, I'll always show you the side view. So it's an easel card. And um, the little pick here is what holds this in place. So I thought that was really cute. And then, um, you know, you can see the backside has um, the sentiment there. So very cute. And then you can open it up all the way and write your little note on there. The next one, Debbie Myers did this one. This is a really fun fold as well. I'll show you the side view again. Gosh, I don't even know what that's called. It's kind of like an easel card and we have a, another little flap there. Whoops, I put her name on the back so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> now, again, like I said, most people only had to make half of these. I, I gave everyone one of mine because it was an odd number. So I had to come home and finish some of them. So if the people who created them see it, it's a little bit different. Some of them I didn't stamp or I didn't die cut. So I had to substitute what I had when I got home because we only had limited time. And so, um, you know, most people just got their um, eight done, but I had to do... 17 of them or, or so. This one was by Jean Piersante, and this is one that is missing. She had a mask on top of the whole thing, so it was way more elegant looking, but I forgot to do that, and she had to leave. So I just kind of winged it, and I didn't um, put the mask on, but that was really pretty. It was one of those um, just kind of a elegant mask, and then you use your blending brush and go on top of it. So very nice. And then this is, uh, let's see here, I'm going to pile here. This one is by Kathy Belcher. And this one is Fluffiest Friends again, and it's kind of like a little bit of a, not a belly band, but it has a little band. And then there's cute little magnets that she got on Amazon, and then it opens up to that. It's a birthday card. Isn't that cute? And it snaps shut. All right, let's see. The next one was made by Eileen Engel, and I'm so glad we got a masculine card because we tend to use lots of flowers and make feminine cards, but isn't that one cute? And how we got the beer to be two-toned is um, Crushed Curry Ink, and then uh, did what did we use? Calypso coral, I believe, or no, copper clay, and we just sponged a little bit in the middle, and she even decorated the inside. Very cute. The next one is, gosh, this is the one that took me the longest because my brain could not figure this out, <laughs> and I forgot to take a picture. So it's a, called a teepee card, and see how it sits up, you know, when it's setting like this. But when you look at the front, it's like that, and then there's a velcro dot over here. And then you actually can fit it in an envelope, an A2 envelope, and it will, um, you know, fold nicely and fit in there. You just have to hope the person opening it knows how it goes together like that. But if you send it to a stamping friend, um, they'll figure it out because, you know, when they, a card comes like this in the mail and you think, hmm, that's an odd-sized card, you know it must do something else. <laughs> so um, if you want to know the instructions on this, I would just go to... Google or Pinterest or YouTube and just say TP card and there's a lot of people that have done these so it is a really fun fold and I've never made one of those before. All right. The next one is by Corrine Bethel. She's another team member and isn't that one cute? We really love that purple paper. A lot of people use that lavender which is in our mini catalog. The last card we have is made by Linda Rodenberg. Isn't that pretty? I love that paper. It has kind of that torn look on it. it looks like I really tore that, but very pretty with a nice old floral. I didn't have, um, she had one more flower on here with some jewels, but I um, forgot to die cut that one out. So, but this is pretty close to what she had. All right, that's what my team members made. Now I'm going to share with you what I made. So everyone that came to the event, they got a half a pack of the Memories and More that is actually in celebration. In fact, I'm going to wheel and deal with you here. And if anyone places a $50 to $150 or more order, not only will you get a thank you card from me and a Stampin' Up! treat in the mail. Um, it is product, a small little token of my appreciation. But I will also give you... Um, the photos of these so that you can um, recreate these and so I don't really have instructions but you can see the close-up photos in a P I have a PDF of these and then you don't have to keep watching this video so anyway I'm just going to quickly go through these and um, I'll show you the packet that everyone got so this one that one and I told them that they could do whatever they wanted with these but the nice thing about this is you get all these pre-cut you know I didn't even have to cut these and all I did was added a little embellishment or pop things up and um, it's just such a nice assortment to work with. You actually get 20 cards and envelopes in a pack. Oh, I should, I'll should i show you the packet before we're done here. And then um, it, it, they really go so fast because you hardly have to think. Everything is done for you. So I just love these. Um, I whip these out pretty fast. I thought it was going to take me forever to create, 
but um, it really went fast. I didn't put anything on the inside, so many of these can be used for different occasions. You know, birthday, there's some that could be used for sympathy or masculine, feminine, whatever. So these are the 10 ideas. And so this one can be popped. I always like to pull the wings up on the butterflies. So those are it. And then I was going to show you what their packet looked like. So um, I put everything in an envelope. And then I put the extra embellishments that we used on the back of it. And then these are the cards that we just, uh, that I just showed you. So they got half a pack, which is 10, like I said. These are the coordinating envelopes. This is just kind of my PDF that has all the pictures on there. And then these are the envelopes. And these, like I said, go along. They even do the inside of the envelopes. And let me show you all these cards. They got a half a pack of the cards, which is one of all these. And the nice thing about these is they all have two sides. So I just want to show you all of these. Some are plain. Whoops, they're not going to be the right way. <laughs> Some have words on them. But you can just really see how many ideas you get. I should have went through these to make sure they were all the right way. But you get the idea. Oh my goodness, fast and easy. If that's your kind of card, fast and easy, not a lot of fuss or frills. Um, and these make nice gifts too. They come in... Um, a nice little package that's all ready to go. And remember, if your order is 50 or more, you can choose this as your celebration item, and it is absolutely free. So those are all the cards that you can adhere. These are all um, stickers. So they all these come off, and they are actually stickers. And this is just one-sided, but look at all these. I have so much left over to use even more. Um, and then these are the larger cards. And again, they're going to be two-sided. <laughs> really quickly here. And some of them you can even journal on. Oh, actually, these are these are the doubles of the maybe doubles of the ones I already showed. Let me see. Nope, these are not doubles. They look like it because some of them are very similar on the smaller one. All right, so that's what they all got in their packet. Let me switch this back again. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm going to be back creating again. But this kind of helped me fill in the gaps here because I haven't had time in my crafting room to be making things. But um, we will be back to normal. Let's see. They leave, leave Thursday morning. So I will be back creating my own things here. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you like that little snippet of what we made at We Stage on Saturday. And I also want you to check out my um, my blog so you can see even more pictures from the event. Well, we will see you guys next Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Arizona time. And thank you again for joining me. See you next time. Bye-bye.